Well, Stevie, good to get the team back in action, but not the result you're looking for, and maybe a night when the breaks went against you. Yeah, um, obviously we're, we're disappointed with the, the end result, but not disappointed in terms of the performance and the application. We've come through that period there without games, and you know we've just said to the boys in there that they've got to keep a belief and um, make sure that we carry that into the next performances over the 19-day period. I think we've got five games coming up, so disappointed, yes, but um, if, if we continue playing that manner, I'm sure we'll pick up more points and lose. You had that long spell without playing for various reasons, but the team came out firing in all cylinders and. One or two good chances, particularly that Kevin Nisbet header, you'd expect him to put that away. Yeah, I've said all along this season that I firmly believe that there's goals in this team. Um, we've created enough chances to win a game of football tonight and unfortunately we've not taken them. Um, as I say, we're disappointed with the, the decision for that led to the first goal with the free kick. Um, I've not had a chance to see that back in slow motion if it goes over the line or not, it happened that quickly. We then tweaked a few things at half time. Um, we caused them bother in the first half. And uh, as I say, they carried out to a man, got herself back in the game with a fantastic finish with Dom Thomas cutting in from the right hand side. And I thought the game was with us at that point. You know, we're playing at home, the crowd were getting behind us, and I think it's Gabby, it's through and goal, and he's unfortunate the ball breaks to the Inverness players, and then it's from that that they go and score their goal. So, um, as I say, in terms of the application from the boys, we're, we're happy with that. We need more of that between now and the end of the season. Uh, Result-wise, we're disappointed. The opening goal was maybe contentious, but you just have to go on with it. And the boys did pick themselves up after that. Are you doing? That's what you talk about in the summer. As a club, we went in a different direction. A lot of boys out there haven't got a lot of game time at Championship level, and they probably played more football now than they have in any stage of their career. Um, so we'll learn from things like that and that was the positive response that we got that we went a goal down under, you know, you could say yeah, difficult circumstances but the boys regrouped and, and, and then we got ourselves back in the game, you know, and then we lose a goal to a deflection which strong foot's big one and, you know, there's nothing they could really do about it to keep it out of that. You mentioned the run of games coming up, obviously resources are going to be stretched. Picked up a couple of injuries to experienced players tonight, Ryan Dow and Lee Ashcroft. You need to assess that over the next few days, presumably. Yeah. Um, Ryan's obviously felt his hamstring tightening up, so we'll have to monitor that one closely because it's something that you can't really take chances on. So we'll have to see what comes of that in regards to the weekend. Ashley was a dead leg, so usually you would probably be sore for a couple of days, but I'd imagine he'll be fine for the weekend. And it doesn't come easy to be united on Saturday, another big test, but uh, you, you, boys will be keen to get back out there. I'm, I'm positive in, in terms of the way I am as a person, so um, you, you've got to look up the way and, and see if we can catch what's above us. And Dundee United have opened up a 21 point lead, uh, that'll probably be down to 18 tonight if my maths is right. Um, but, you know, we went up to Tannadice and put on a very good second half performance um, the last time we met up with them, so uh, we'll make sure that we're ready to have them.